In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus BABr2. This is sulfuric acid. This is barium bromide. The first thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. You can see I have two hydrogens here and just one here. I'll put a two in front of the HBr. Now the hydrogens, they're balanced. I have two bromines, but I have two bromines here. Barium, barium, that's good. And then sulfate, sulfate. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now I can write the state for each substance here. Sulfuric acid, this is a strong acid. So it's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Compounds with bromine in general, they are soluble too. If you know your solubility rules, put AQ. Sulfates are soluble in general, but barium sulfate is an exception, one you should remember. It'll be insoluble, so it won't dissolve. It is a solid. These two react, and this forms a solid. It's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. Hydrobromic acid, this is also considered a strong acid, so we're going to write AQ. That's going to be soluble as well. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen, group one on the periodic table, that's one plus each one of these hydrogens. And then the whole sulfate is two minus, good one to remember. So we have two hydrogen ions, and I won't write the states right now, let's do that at the end. Plus, I have the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. Barium's in group two, that'll be two plus, and the bromide ion is one minus. So we'll have our barium ion, Ba, two plus, and then we'll have two bromide ions, Br minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, when we have solids like barium sulfate, we don't split that apart. So we're going to keep barium sulfate together, BaSO4, and then we said plus and minus, so two hydrogen ions, and then two bromide ions. And those are the products in our net ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I can see here in the reactants, I have two hydrogen ions. In the products down here, I have two hydrogen ions. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. I also have a bromide ion here, and actually I should have two bromide ions here because I have the two applies to everything. So two bromide ions here and two here. Cross that out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus BaBr2. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid and barium bromide. If you look at it, we have a two minus and a two plus. That adds up to zero. So net charge of zero here. On this side, net charge of zero, it's a neutral compound. So charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often we'll see the positive ion put first in these net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. And that's it. That's the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus BABr2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.